Last time on Tim Plays a Game. So I just defeated Ganon, I did it through the tutorial, I just kind of skipped all that. Oh god. And now this is happening. It's Legend of Zelda! Breath of the Wa- Tears of the Ki uh, Echoes of Wisdom. That's it, that's the one. Wow. <laughs> Pokemon Platinum called, they want their everything back. It's not him, he's got- oh, he's got purple goo. Whoa. Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense to uh, send you there. I'll lead, I'll lead the way. Follow me. What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays a Game here with Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom playing on Nintendo Switch. Tonight, we are continuing on. We just got done with, uh, whatever dungeon this was. Hi. This one over here. This is the first one. Anyway, we're going to... Now we're going to talk to Impa's brother. We couldn't talk to that earlier because a rift formed there. And between this video and the last, I've actually uh, played this game on my own. I've gotten pretty far in it. No spoilers. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been pretty amazing so far. Just gonna throw that out there. Like, if you, uh, if you were a fan of Link's Awakening, or, uh, yeah, Legend of Zelda, I think Link's Awakening is probably your best, the best example. Or, e or even, uh, Between Worlds, A Link Between Worlds. Yeah, it's very much like those two, but with, you know, less of the Link sword fighting mechanic, <laughs> and more, more, a little more thought-provoking. You gotta, you gotta think, you gotta critical, you gotta use some critical thinking skills to solve some of these puzzles and defeat some of these bad guys. Try to remember the voices now I gave them. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm now, I'm now uh, aware that Minister Left is a female, so. <laughs> Supposedly, I don't know. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and. Who's that? I'm, very, I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, we'll only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. <laughs> I've got to save Link. Yeah, we're on, we're already on that. <laughs> hmm. Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well. Uh... What? <laughs> I believe that's how you pronounce that. Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, <laughs> I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. You killed Link. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand the situation. Phew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bucking me ever since you brought you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too. That's strange. Zelda, Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you. That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand. What is that you have in I... What is it that you and I have in common? We both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts changed people somehow. Oh yeah, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Luberry. I am Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Luberry, why did you make him a sword? Because he kind of feels naked without it, let's be real here. I mean, have you ever seen Link without a sword? It's kind of depressing. Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for, t for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. And that's your scientific explanation there. <laughs> Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanish without a trace. Let's just... Let's just gloss over the fact that they sometimes appear. <laughs> Little Bermuda Triangles just popping up everywhere. No reason at all. 
At which town, after which townsfolk would say they had been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it. What is this? The back rooms. <laughs> Anyhow, Link made it his his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping him, helping as I'm able to. Which why, which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The sword of might. I'm sorry. Do you, are you pronouncing the W in sword? <laughs> The Sword of Might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. <laughs> Yeah, let's in, but not but not the rifts popping up randomly business. Maybe that too. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. <laughs> Can we stop calling him the blue guy? <laughs> the blue man group is gonna be going crazy. But <laughs> don't don't compare us to him. And yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly, we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken to the, by the rift into into Hyrule in when I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Huh? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. That explains everything. Sure, why not? Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might, uh, what, what voice did I give him? We might end up, that's it, that's it. We might end up finding the king and the other mis missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey Zelda, I'm gonna fly up high to look for, look, up, look for some of the other big rifts. Back in a flash. Coming down. <laughs> Didn't find anything. No way I found some. They're not, there's no setting where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts. We can go explore. There they are. Marked them right on the map. <laughs> I marked them in big blotchy ink stains. Hope that helped. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. I didn't hear you. Could you speak up? <laughs> Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. She's a woman. She, she's an independent woman. She can make her own decisions. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. Yeah, that too. During this, this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts. Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. <laughs> oh, sorry, I have depends for that. Oh, no, yo, yo, sal salient point. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. <laughs> Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course, investigations are my specialty. Not getting eaten by rifts are also my specialty, but clearly I'm having an off day. <laughs> Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Alright, Princess, I leave it to you. Find the King, General, Wright, and Link. <laughs> Save the world so I don't have to. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Good news, everyone! The sword you've got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it, though. So talk to me later if you're interested. What if I'm, what if I'm interested now? Then come back later and talk to me. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Alright, so now we are free to explore. I'm not sure where best place to go would be. In my, in my, in my first game, actually, I went to the desert first. So you know what, we're going to do that. And 
We're just gonna kind of explore while we can. This now, this guy is one of my favorites to use. Crawlchula. He can crawl up things, and with the. There's like certain, uh. What do you think we can use him for? This is one of my, th my favorite things to do, just hold him in place. <laughs> Piece of heart. So let's just right, let's just look around. We're just gonna have fun. Oh, what's this? Link, Link, are you there? There are so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, so I don't have to. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's that's what I do. I just summon monsters, some powerful monsters, then just like hold them in place with the whatever the X button is. Wow, saving the day as always. The heroic. Uh, you're not Link. <laughs> Dang it! Now I have to go get myself captured by monsters again. I want to talk to Link, not you. Sorry about that. The hood made me think you were had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name is Verly, and I'm a resident of Suthorn Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, <laughs> bringing home some grass. They want me. My my wife wants me to bring home the green, and I'm assuming she means grass. Before I knew it, I chopped my way to Suthorn Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That's when these monsters appeared, and well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here: you should never get too absorbed in your work, or just stop being a freaking idiot. Definitely one of those two things. I like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope I hope you'll take it. Oh, every rupee counts. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Suthorn Village. He's been a, li been a light to all of us, but right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. Hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. Run into a swordsman wearing a hood, <laughs> like yours, the one you probably took from him, and a green tunic. Eh, hey, can you uh, can you pass him a message? His friends, Su friends in Suthorn Village will be there for him when he comes home. <laughs> I'm sure he's alive. <laughs> I mean, I almost died, but he he's alive. Okay, real quick, before I continue, there is something I actually did want to show off. So as you might know, I have this whole amiibo shelf behind me. So we get three a day, base as, as of right now. So I'm gonna use them pro since it's a new recording session. First one is Smash Brothers Link. Got five pieces of chili cactus. Delicious. We got the Zelda one next. Five jars of floral nectar. And finally, Ganondorf. Five rock tatoes. All right. <laughs> you get more stuff too. I think in one of my games I found a. They gave me a freaking tunic, a red tunic. So we'll just we'll try every time I do a new recording session. See what we get. Yeah, this one's close by. Love doing that. Just <laughs> summoning a big monster, then just like and then just grabbing something and then do the rest. 
Does he want to just move this out of the way? <laughs> this is the shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the, who's the prankster that blocked it off? I guess I'll just have to take another... Hang on. <laughs> ah, it's clear. And with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. Money! Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money. This game... Uh, prices in, in some of these stores are crazy. Like hundreds of rubies. <laughs> ah, cool breeze, clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. Delicious. I think... What's up here? I think the ranch is up here. This is Hyrule Field. Let's activate... Yeah, if you ever see one of these things, just walk up to it today. Activate it now. detour but it's pretty helpful. Here we are at the ranch. <laughs> you can't fly up anymore, can you? also a good way to get some of these echoes now, these bad guy echoes, which you're gonna want. Also the Princess Zelda signs ever. One Princess Zelda sites on the word of the Hyrule, King of Hyrule. So where we need to go next is a little bit south of here, but we'll just, we'll backtrack later on. What the heck is this? Hey! What? What is happening? Oh no, Tingle, is that you? Oh no, what the heck are you? <laughs> well, hello! I'm the stamp guy! I love stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's hugest stamp fan. Bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Yeah. One stamp's great. That plunk when you press one down to leave a stamp behind. Plunktacular from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps. Collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, rally excited. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. What is happening? <laughs> you got the stamp, the first stamp card. First stamp card? This stamp card is for stamp rally beginners. It's a handmade, it was handmade by the stamp guy and it looks like it. I know you're gonna have fun because I had fun making it. Now get a stampin' like you never stamped before. I have never have stamped before. That's what I'm talking about. Great work. What a stamp. Look for stands like this all over the world and get you put these things all over the world. And get every stamp. All 10,478 of them. But hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my tastes. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. I mean, the stamps. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go stamp rally! Okay, I'm gonna go away, stamp rally. 
So yeah, this is the uh, ranch right here, Hyrule Ranch. <laughs> We're just getting north, stamp guy. And he wants a, uh, yeah, he says we can have a horse if we bring this. We have to, we have to bring back the horse though. <laughs> this is actually a pretty easy quest. It's like right, I think it's like right over here. Oh no, it's right up here. No, it's a little bit left. There it is. Hi, horse! Okay, so the idea here is... I need to get the horse out. Riding a horse, one next to a horse, press A to mount the horse and use L to move, tilt the opposite direction, dismount the horse anytime time with B. Problem is, we gotta be careful. Fall. It's not easy. Okay. Now we got a horse! Found your horse. Let's say that's our horse. She's finally back home where she belongs. Can't thank you enough. Who'd have thought of that poor girl ended up uh, ending up in a place like that? She and I are both in your debt. Tell you what, Sprout. You man, you've uh, if you ever need a steed, I'll lend you a free of lend free of charge. Horses are great for completing. Okay, you can go ahead and saddle up on each, whichever one you like. I'll take the one I just had. Thank you. We got a horse. Oh. Yes. We can learn things while on horseback too. Yeah, tech tight echo. Cool. We're just getting this one right now, for later. Alright, time to backtrack. I think there, were some, there was some secret stuff I wanted to do out here. That's right, I want to get this thing. This thing sucks. Can't run, wolf. This, this is how I fight. We got the wolf. <laughs> the wolf that wolf is Echo. It's a three star. I want a few good strong monsters now going. The wolf is one of the easiest ones to get. Bunch of snakes over here, but they're not important. This one I think we can do pretty easily. We have fun while I get this. Crystal, strange powers. Once we get ten of these things, we can start doing stuff with it. That's right, Aponia. Aponia, your name's Aponia, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's a wolf. Up. Not give up. I have a trail of monsters following me this entire time, aren't I? So. Gotta go back the other way. This 
way. These things suck because they steal rupees. like the easiest way to recover health in this game. <laughs> Unfortunately though it does take a while but there's uh there's gonna be an area where we get a better bed and it heals like one heart at a time. Just kill out just chill out there dark nut. <laughs> I think I use the bed more than anything else in this game. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> bed, get him. Also, the easiest way to build a ladder right here is just tower of beds. <laughs> yeah, unusual crystal. Every time you get one of those, it just refills up the link energy. That's what I call it, link energy. I'm not sure which order you're supposed to do this in, but I like this one right here. It's like really close by. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, your horse faded away into the sand, but anyway, we're in the desert now. Welcome to Gerudo Desert. And it's not like, it's not too much like Breath of the Wild where the desert's all dry and stuff. Sure, uh, I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. But this desert seems really big. Wonder why we should stop looking. I guess for now we can check around the area with the biggest rift. Here's your horseback. These things, they try to stab you from behind. Take care of that for me. We got Naruto. We got that thing. Hey, what's up? These monsters just keep coming, completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. So we're going to Gerudo, whatever. <laughs> Let's put this up. There's a rift right here for now. We'll come back at, at this point. At one point.
Get him. Get that fish. Get that sandfish. We got the sand piranha. Yeah, so sand cannot survive in water, however, which is kind of weird. I mean, if it's able to survive in sand, then yeah, that kind of makes sense. Weird, though, how it kind of evolved without wa out of water and into sand. Waypoint has been recorded. All right. Not much going on here. There is this one game. This one uh, game over here. But I'm gonna do that later. Oh. Where, where, where? Facet doesn't know when she's the chief aide. So no, where are they? Oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm T Tormali, an Oasis guard. Garden Yos, this is my main priority. But I have been tasked with another mission recently. I take it you're not from here, oh. are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. If you're in your travels, tiles that can fly through the air. Yeah, we'll just remember that. She wants tiles that fly through the air. That's all there is. And what the heck is this? Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is the place where you can craft your own freezing taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come on now. Let's get to it. Ready to make a smoothie? Yes. You, you want to do this. This is like potions, and you're going to want to do this. We're going to make a few of them. So I just did double grape on that one. Gave me a refreshing smoothie. Perfect. That just gives you five hearts right there. That's all we have, so yeah. Let's... Basically, he wants you to come up with ten, fla with, uh, ten combination, ten recipes. Which isn't too hard to do since the recipes are literally two ingredients. <laughs> and you can always sell the smoothies back to him. Let's do two floral nectars. Sometimes something goes well, sometimes it doesn't. And we got sweet smoothie. Two hearts. I think the more, the crazier you get with these combinations, the better. Let's go double apple, let's see what happens. Apple smoothie, of course. What'd you think was gonna happen? <laughs> Rock potatoes, make them <laughs> potato smoothie. <laughs> Delicious. Wait, wouldn't a potato smoothie just be mashed potatoes? <laughs> you got mashed potatoes. <laughs> What'd you think was gonna happen? <laughs> Alright, time to have a little fun here. Apple and grape. Got a smoothie. Got a refreshing mixed smoothie. That's seven hearts right there. So yeah, the more we, the more creative we get with it. Sometimes it comes out really good. Sometimes we get more hearts. Sometimes not so much. See the grape in the floor. I got a bunch of grapes, so we'll use, we'll mix a lot with a bunch of stuff. Sweet, refreshing. Wow, that was, wow, that was ten hearts. And the chili cactus. You're just gonna want- we want these now just because they do have some effects and we can use them. Refreshing mix smoothie, uh, I think that was similar to the one we did earlier, yeah. That's a good way to recover hearts. This one makes you glow in the dark, I don't think we're gonna need that. Monster Fang, I haven't found anything to mix it with yet. Everything turns out terribly that I mix it with, so... I'm sure there's some good stuff. What's in here? Cacti. Chili cactus. Alright. There's one more. Let me make one more. <laughs> this is the one of the weirdly fun things for me in the game. Cooking. Any type of cooking, any type of combination. Yeah, this is a really, uh, really dumbed down version of the cooking from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Did they have cooking in Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, they did. 
Did they? Yeah, they did. Fresh and crunchy texture and sweet text, uh, tart flavor set, set this movie apart. So it makes you fire, fireproof for a minute. Let's go. Yep. Get him. Get that fish. Stamp yep. guy. We go. We got our second stamp. Joy. Oh. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it! What the heck? Yeah, he's made of armor. I can't hit him. What is this thing anyway? Why, it's a tornado echo. Of course. Nice try, buddy. I got a pepper. Got a warm pepper. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Bor bor uh, borblin. Borble borble. What the heck? Monster guts. The materials drop sometimes, but I defeated monsters. You can use can't use it in its current form. What would I what would I use it for? Come on down, bud. Oh, no no. There is... Kind of glad I brought these now. Also, we will be using these freaking Vorbloom guys. At some point. Get him. <laughs> Alright, treasure. Pepper. Yes. Nope. Horse is like, nope, not going in there. No, thank you. This is quicksand. Oh god. No, I will save you. Oh god, okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, expect stay in storms until you beat this first dungeon. south of here.
Gerudo Town. Wait here, horse. Okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado ghosts? See, I, caught a, I got caught up in a sandstorm recently when the tornado comes whirling at me. It's hard to see clearly, but, but with all the sand, and but I could swear, I swear, I saw a face in the tornado. Must have been must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Did I imagine it? If I could see it again, then I'd know for sure. Alright, so... Yeah, show them that thing. G -g 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 ghost! <laughs> yep, it's a ghost. Wait, it's not a ghost or a tornado. It's a monster called a Tornin... a Tornin-nando. A Tornando. They didn't really try too hard with that name. <laughs> Let's just add an N in there, so an extra letter in there somewhere. Actually, now that I get a closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It just, cha just chased me because I wanted to send me flying across the desert. It didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things. <laughs> well, that clears up. That clears that up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go, milk. <laughs> you got ten containers of fresh milk. They'll make great smoothies. Actually, that does make good smoothies. Holy crap! <laughs> if the chief finds out how easily I spooked I am, I'll get a real talking to. I mean, we're all sca scared of something. Can't really fault a person for having fears. Learn a couple things. Let's learn that pot. Here we go, pot echo. It's yeah, vibrant colors. I'm not sure if that meat matters at all, but we can use it kind of like we do a jar. Yeah, sometimes I'm just gonna go in some houses sometimes, just look around, see if there's anything in there. I think where we need to go is a little bit uh, east of here. This we can do easily. Hello there, Hel Helian. Curious about me? I'm one of I'm one of many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off ah. duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I got a slack on my training. My confidence comes from my guilt, my agility. Grit. Why am I giving them all the same voice? I don't know. Behold my skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What's with a blank expression? It's almost as if you don't mind my, find me impressive. Well then, I'll prove my skill to hand-to-hand -hand tag. So you ready? I'll ready to play? I'll give you. I'll even give you something if you manage to catch me. Sure, fine. And we can use echoes to block off her path, which is what we're gonna do. So she goes. I think the best thing we have is, yeah, the wooden crate. Gotcha. <laughs> what? So fast? Even faster than me? Impossible. And also, you can go the opposite end, just kind of, like, block her in. I just figured, you know, let's try that one. My, 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 are you, you are indeed very capable. Your legs carry you like one who has traveled across many regions. <laughs> All one of them. Have you, are you, ah, you have inspired me. Here you are, as promised. Cacti. Six of them. I'll keep training until I'm, invin I'm an invincible warrior. Thank you for the, the inspiration. Oh. We can just do some small quests. Oh, Hillian, I'm impressed. You made it all the way out here through the desert. Yeah. She just wants a cat, a tumbleweed. I'm not reading this whole tumbleweed fanfiction oh. dialogue. I'm just uh. I'm doing some side quests because I can't. I don't think I have time to get into the main quest just yet. This one's actually pretty easy. We just gotta get a tumbleweed, but we gotta get to it. Like, 
directly. There we go. that much distance so you can get around corners oh you brought me one thank you so 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 much oh. ah, seeing the delicate dried foliage explains why they tend to break so easily no wait it's not dried this is just a particular type of plant matter what are, why what are these pokey bits ha huh, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is oh I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful magnificent tumbleweed okay great it's tumbleweed I'll take my prize now. Give me my reward. Power stone. Or unusual crystals. Just need one more of those. Oh, I can start powering stuff up. I think there is something here, but we need... These. It's 400. Oh my god. Stuff, some stuff in this game is just straight up ridiculously expensive. I think if we go this way. Yep. Machines. Okay, this one isn't too, too hard. Nope, wrong one. We actually need. Pick it up and throw it. Let's test it out. Dark Nut, do your stuff. We actually do get a good amount of rupees in these dungeons, so don't worry about. God, here we go. The good thing is the dark nut doesn't actually. I don't think these things actually damage you at all. Dark nut doesn't go flying, so. <laughs> we'll do there, buddy. Sit tight while you die. <laughs> Rock Tato. <laughs> I think they help with like climbing speed and stuff. But the real treasure is this thing. Two unusual crystals. We can I think we can warp back there and use them, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. Quick way back, just do that, quickly. I think they can actually if you're skilled enough, you can actually use them. With jumping. Go a little 
little faster. Three dads are annoying, but I want to get this one. the re-dead echo. I, I honestly haven't used it at all. I'm sure there's a reason to use it. Endlessly wandering through the desert, the suddenly creatures scream and freeze enemies in their tracks. It'd be great if it worked on bosses and stuff. Lay that fish. And don't be afraid about losing your horse. They'll just end up back at the ranch if something happens. Here in the desert, finding treasure. I think there's a warp point I want to get to. Are, like strong enough they can't be harmed. <laughs> Takes a little bit of the yeah, I don't have much of the link power when I'm out here. So I gotta use it sparingly. Yep. I think we wanna go right here. Yeah. This is where we wanna be, huh? My friends are nearby. But wait. Something's not right. Okay, I can't go through sand. <laughs> I can't swim through sand like the freaking sand barracudas or whatever they were called. I can create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Right. Oh, right. You can't you can't go through there. <laughs> you can't go through walls and sand like I can. You can't come with me, can you? So, what should we do? Well, I guess we're screwed. <laughs> oh, wait. We can try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way through a way you can get through with through the sand. Yeah, worth a shot. Yep. Mm. Eh? You're not a you're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Get through the sand? Uh no. You aren't you aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by our chief are allowed to entry. Now, go home. Uh, I don't think she's gonna move. Oh gee, are you sure? Really? Really? <laughs> but, but maybe it's because she said I'm not going to move. <laughs> ah! What was that? Someone hurt? I I have to stay at my post. Can't let this person get through. Otherwise, I'd go see what's going on. Fine. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Is she okay? Happened. The monsters, they're gone. Oh. Did you defeat them for me? Sure, why not? Yeah. Seems they pose no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Do you even have a weapon? Is that what is that, a cape? Thank you, you saved my life. I mean seasoned warrior, you think you know, day one of warrior school would have using weapons. <laughs> uh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Dahanna. The, cap the captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? Huh? Nice to meet you, Zelda. So what brings you out this way? Hmm, I see, I see. 
You don't talk much, do you? You're traveling around fixing rifts? Uh huh. You're fixing rifts? <laughs> Pardon my shock, is it? It's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts. Why would you want? To, why would you want to care for them? No, I mean we're killing them. Sorry, Nintendo really dances around the word murder in this game, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller, and the monsters keep coming without end. It seems if we could rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, and nobody else could end, would end up getting hurt. Hey Zelda, do you think she might know how to get under the sand? Is everything all right, Zelda? Oh right, you haven't been through a rift yet, so you can't see. Try. You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm, well, the sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rifts if you go into the sanctum. Oh. Normally, the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing. But as you probably notice, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. Oh. If you want to get into the sanctum, for we'd first need to clear the entrance. Okay. We do that. Soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we go through, here, through there, we could clear the sand out. Of course... Doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for safety. So I'm not sure... Well, great job, because there are no <laughs> monsters out here anywhere. So I'm not sure how to proceed. If you want to get into the sanctum, well, we first need to clear out the entrance. I see. Ah. In order to ri get rid of the rift, you need to get into the sanctum, right? Yes, we've been through this. Oh. Understood. Oh. Well then, it sounds like we need to discuss things with our chief, with the chief. Great, more talking. <laughs> you saved my life, so I'll do all I can to help you. And if you're able to get rid, get rid of the rift, the rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet up at the at the place in Gerudo Town. It's just northwest of here. Normally, only Gerudo are allowed in the place, but I'll put in a word to you ahead of time. All right, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. That's why I didn't try to go into the castle earlier. I just would not let you in. Which is understandable. Okay. So next time we should be back at the castle or whatever, the Gerudo Town Palace. But uh, that is going to wrap things up for this video, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom videos. Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.